What up, it's Larry back with you, and I already told you the top five things I love about the Nexus 6P. So let's flip that coin, and this is the top five things I hate about the Nexus 6P. First up, the OS is buggy. Now all I've ever heard from people about Android is you need a Nexus device to fully appreciate Android because I always had a Samsung or some other manufacturer's version of Android. Well, I got the Nexus and I used it for a day and I had to reset the whole phone back to factory because the battery drain was crazy. It was fine after that, but come on. Also, I've had it freeze up on me many times where I've had to hit the power button just to get the touch screen to respond again. Also, the camera app is super buggy. A lot of times it'll freeze up and the aspect ratio will get all jacked up when I rotate the phone into landscape. This is the most frustrating thing because this is the app that I want to run the fastest. I have kids and I need to be able to shoot quickly because they're always doing something crazy. When I watch a video on a web page, I hit full screen. It asks me every time if this web page can go into full screen mode. This is something that's frustrated me on my Note 5 as well, so I think it's just an overall Android thing, not a Nexus 6P thing. If I click full screen, then yes, I want the page to go to full screen mode. You do not need to ask me. They need to make this a little bit smarter and get rid of these extra steps. Let's talk about Gmail notifications. Now I saw a tweet the other day that says they're addressing it and it may just be a small percentage of users, but it's crazy that the Gmail app does not work on a Nexus device. It's a Google phone and one of their own apps doesn't even work. Wait, I take it back. It's a Google phone and their Gmail app doesn't work. Their flagship app doesn't give you notifications. Come on, Google, the fingerprint reader. Now, I still don't like the placement on the back, but that's not the issue I want to address. It's the app integration, and it's an overall Android issue. But coming from the iPhone where Touch ID is baked into almost all of my favorite apps, it's frustrating to have to put my password in for things like Dropbox or Amazon or even my local credit union that has Touch ID support. I can't do that on Android. I wish it was integrated more into the app ecosystem. I want it more for ease of access into certain apps than security, but that's just me, I guess. The last one goes to the hardware, and I address this briefly in the top five things I love about the Nexus 6P. It's about the back of the phone. It's prone to scratches as well as being slippery. You can see on the fingerprint sensor there's a scratch. This was from my fingernail when I was removing part of a slick wrap that had been on the button. A fingernail did this. So now I roll with cases if I'm gonna be doing anything where I could drop it, but for everyday use, I always have a slick wrap attached to the back. This one here is from their natural collection and it's leather. I'll leave a link down below so you can check out all their goodness for yourself. Well, that's gonna be it for this one. There isn't much negative about the Nexus 6P, but it does have its flaws. And all that being said, it is the best Android phone on the market right now, hands down. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.